that's unusual. Khalil Weir was trying to check into the game to, to defend the inbounds pass. But Cunningham, nobody's guarding him. In it comes, Duran ducks it! Oh my! Unbelievable! In seven tenths of a second, they tie the game at 121. The Pistons are walking off the court. Oh, Who no. called timeout? Oh no. The referee is saying that Coach Spo has called a timeout, and that's a technical foul as the heater out of timeout. Oh boy. Oh boy is right. The incredible execution by oh, the Pistons. Oh no. To get an uncontested foul. dunk for Duran with 1.8 seconds left. Yeah, this, Jalen Rose and the rest of us in disbelief. So this, a technical for taking a timeout they did not have. And Beasley will shoot it on a night where the Pistons are 22 at 25 at the line. The Pistons take a one-point lead with 1.1 seconds left. And the Heat will get it out of bounds from underneath the basket, I believe. It's Detroit basketball. Kevin Love will check into the game for my uh, Oh, what a nerve-wracking ending for, to this game. Oh, he'd have to face guard here. Why, why is it that it's a technical foul? Down to a tenth of a second left. Foul on Highsmith. Lindurin with 1.8 left. I'm going to want to see that again. Beasley makes a second. It's a two point lead for Detroit, and it's about to be a two point win for Detroit. A oh, heartbreaking defeat for the Heat. Fought back so many times. Down 18 at one point in the game. Early in the second quarter, they came back to take a lead. They were down by 11 with five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Forced overtime. And what gets Bam hung up there. Beasley setting it on. And Terry Rozier staying with his man. And that allows Dern to catch and finish. And Spo, even a veteran coach like Spo, in his 17th season, lost track of how many timeouts he had, called the timeout. The officials immediately hit him with a technical since the Heat have no more timeouts. And that's what triggers the free throws right there to help the Pistons wrap it up. A sad ending here in Detroit.